Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, some stuff's popped off since last time. We got Mother Goose back on. I'm back. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe Mother Goose, not a good idea. You you stirred <laughs> the metaphorical pot. I did. I opened Pandora's box. So if you're not aware, we had our video where we riffed and roasted uh, 43 or 44 comic book community members, um, and it got taken down off YouTube. It sure did. So I was out of town. Um, I was in Baltimore, and I got an email with this title. Your video has been taken down from YouTube. She destroyed every comic book YouTube channel. And my heart sank. Did You didn't get any emails. I didn't get an email, but... I was like checking the comments because I was, was reading. You, I was I was reading the comments. Right. Like I was in deep. So I, all of a sudden I couldn't see them anymore and I thought, uh oh. Yeah, and I saw I, I looked on the, the channel and I was like, holy crap, that video's not there anymore. So um, I look at my email and I see uh, Hi Sticky Goose Comics. We received a copyright removal request for your video. Based on applicable copyright law, we removed your video from YouTube. Video title, URL, content used, the comic book community. Content found during 20, 27 seconds to 45 minutes. The whole video. <laughs> no, the video was one hour. Oh, that's right. You're right. Um, Basically the whole video. Removal request by... We know who requested this. Um, contact info. We know how to get a hold of you. Uh, this means this video can no longer be viewed on YouTube. You now have a copyright strike. If you get multiple strikes, we will terminate your channel. Bummer, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the individual who we will not name in this video... No. Um, Pulled, pulled a fast one. He he claimed copyright infringement on the entire comic book community and spanning 27 seconds, which for the first minute, I just want to remind you, there we it was just our Talking. BSing. Right. Like it, there was nobody shown. It was introduction me. It was, yes. And then 45 minutes on, mm -hmm. we were roasting people after that too. So I don't know why the last 15 minutes were not roasted. Um, that kind of makes me sad because I'm like, did we let them off too easily? Or, <laughs> but uh, he was okay with us. Yeah, he was fine. <laughs> like all those channels, they can get effed. Like, but everybody before that, unacceptable. They're my boy. Yeah, they're, they're my boy, Blue. <laughs> so, um, so we know who it is. Yeah. Um, and he he has. Oh, I just revealed it to he. I think most of them were, <laughs> were men. So we're good. We're safe. So uh, the <laughs> next the next thing, I automatically am like, holy shit, am I going to lose my channel? Um, I, it says, how we process requests to remove content. We use the combination of automated systems and human reviews to process this removal request. Uh, what to do next? If you believe you're not at fault in one of the, or more instances above, you can appeal this removal by submitting a counter notification. There may be severe legal consequences for submitting a counter notification with false information. You can also contact the party that removed your video and ask them to retract this removal request. Yes. And so, so the first thing I did was, you know, the first thing I did was, okay, I want to try to counteract the removal. Like I want to know, like I want to know what that that process is. I start looking on there and I'll show you what I, what you see. And if you're unfamiliar with YouTube, you know, you haven't made YouTube videos before, like there are certain rules that you have to follow as far as other people's content, which I think you kind of looked into this. I did. And if you followed my channel, I have used other people's videos and I have reacted to them. That's honestly been a big chunk of my content for the last year or so. Mm -hmm. And um, haven't really had any problems. Um, 
But uh, this this individual got triggered. They were triggered. And I, I'm just going to say this. This individual has commented multiple times on the channel. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you want me to share some of the things that he said specifically about you. No, no. And your and your biological um, processes that occur in your body. He here's the thing. He he made comments that you know he felt that was kind of roasting me in a way, uh, and maybe he felt like the comments that I made were a little harsh. And so he was trying to like roast me in a harsh way, which right. is fine. If I can, if, if, if I can, can dish it, out. if I can dish it, I can take it. Yep. That's fine. Um, but it's, it's pretty funny that he is playing this ambassador for the comic book community. And at the same time posts comments about your body that, I, I don't understand. I, I don't know where his moral high ground is. Like, I don't understand the moral high ground there. Like, if you're going to be offended and you're going to be triggered. Do, this is the process. Yeah, do the process. Right, this don't, is the process. Don't post comments and then delete them mm-hmm. like a true keyboard warrior mm-hmm. and then not not do anything. So So I said, you know, I said, let's reach out to this individual and... Let's request a removal, and and you wrote this here. I'm gonna. I did. Uh, I'm gonna read this here. I'm again marked out the the email it's being sent to. It says, "Hi, I hope this message finds you well." That's nice. That's so nice. I'm reaching out regarding <laughs> the recent copyright strike on our video due to the inclusion of your picture and commentary. We understand your concerns and sincerely apologize if our commentary commentary is was upsetting in any way. That was never our intention, and we deeply regret any distress it may have caused. To resolve this issue amicably, we are willing to remove your picture and commentary from our video. Would you be open to removing the copyright strike once these changes are made? Please let us know your thoughts on this. We value our community and aim to handle this manner respectfully and promptly. Thank you for understanding. Best regards, Daniel at Sticky Goose Comics. Dude. I know. Oh my God. (laughs) What an email. What an email. (laughs) That is... Perfect. Professional. That is well written. Yes. I mean, if I got something like that, I would say, well, this guy, he means business. And you know what? I'm going to retract that. No, we don't. We don't expect him to retract it. We no. don't expect him to do anything. I expect a nice snarky remark saying, yep. hell no. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, this is what I saw. Um, and it said, content removed. The strike is removed in 90 days. Again, the strike was removed by such and such. Uh, It says, content used was for the comic book community, using names and images to personally bash and bully. Hmm. Hmm. Does that sound familiar to anybody else that that made this? (laughs) Um. So this is some of the other process you can take if you were to, uh, to pursue this in a legal process. Um, so I saw this and I was like, I'm going to put my name, my address, where I live, all of this. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Well, this is a legal action. Oh, I know. I know. And I saw that. I said, you know, we could, if we pursued this, you know, we would put your law office, you know, your, um, your practice information. And then, you know, obviously you would be my attorney. As long as I'm licensed to practice in the state, wherever it is, but this is federal court. So it just so would be federal. Right? Yeah, it would be federal court, but it it's, 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 it's intense. It's full legal action. Yeah. And I mean, I, I don't know if he is a person that, you know, he's probably one of the people that if, if you had an attorney and you couldn't afford one, one would be appointed to you. Is that what he would get? Perhaps. Okay. But here's the thing. I wouldn't enter into legal action lightly. <laughs> I right. mean, it's, it's not... This is not a joke. It's not a joke. It's serious. And when this individual does this to us... You know, we're, we're laughing it off. You know, this is... It's supposed to be satire. Yeah. It's it, supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be... It was supposed to have been funny. 
I, I truly don't know if people have never seen like the roasts, like the roast of Tom Brady, or like watch shows like Kill Tony, or hell, watch any stand up comedian. I'm not saying either of us are professional comedians. I, hell, I don't. I guess no one else thinks that we're funny other than I, us, I, which I don't care. I actually don't feel like I'm that funny. You, I laugh my ass off. <laughs> you made me laugh hysterically. But I just, I truly don't understand how people cannot wrap their head around any any promotion. No, any publicity is good publicity, right. unless it's like Diddy publicity, which you don't <laughs> you don't want that Diddy, you don't want that Diddy work, but like. You know, if we if we're riffing on each other, we're bashing each other. It's it's, it's, all, it's all in good fun. It's all in I good mean, fun. I had somebody put me into a wheelchair and pretend like I was the <laughs> mentally handicapped kid from South Park. Timma, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I have I have one channel <laughs> that uses my content to make all of their content on their live streams. I have another channel that just posts my videos on his channel. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not claiming them. I'm like, dude, thank you for promoting me. But this, this, this individual is clueless. They're clueless. So that brings me to the next part of this video. Somebody who is not clueless, that understands that my whole channel, my whole shtick, everything that I'm doing, I am trying to entertain you. I am not trying to educate you. Uh, to be honest, sometimes I'm, even, I'm not even talking about comic books because just to be honest, a lot of people do not give a shit. When I post videos reviewing comic books, talking about comic books, those are my lowest viewed videos. When I post something about drama, Two times, three times, four times, ten times the views. Seems like that's what people want. And if I'm in the business of making videos that people want to watch, I am going to make videos that people want to watch. An individual that understands this and that we riffed on is our friend Jim Mint. Minty Fresh. As well as nearly 20-25% of the individuals that we riffed on either commented or reached out to me personally and said, you know, either we thought it was funny, it's interesting how we were perceived, I didn't know that's whatever. I mean, it was something. It was it was the realization that, hey, this isn't this isn't like a bad thing. Right, and we're all in this together. We're all trying to make content. We're gonna watch a video by Jim Mint here in a second. It, and the proof is in the pudding. In, his, in this video, all you have to do is scroll right down to the comments and realize that nobody watched Jim Mint's video. They had a determination, they have an opinion about me, us, the channel, and they were there to tell that opinion. And that's fine. If that's what you're using the comment section for, perfect. Hey, you're engaging. But at the same time, you didn't watch the video. And so many times that happens with my content, as well as if you're a creator, I'm sure it happens to yours. You're, the person is not watching. They're using this as a platform to spew hate of their own. Without further ado, let's watch this video. Uh, the other day, I check on him every now and then just to see what he's talking about. The other day he made a he video, his wife was in the thumbnail. She destroyed every comic book channel. So I'm like, oh, man, I got to see this. Like, yeah, he does. So basically, it's him and his wife. Uh, and he shows her like 15 comic book YouTubers. I 15. Mean, who do you have on there? The usual suspects. 45. Other smaller channels. Some people I knew. Some people I didn't know. Reggie Collects exactly. he had. And some it was people basically he didn't like, know. Exactly. all right, look at this guy. What do you think about him? And his wife would respond. So it's kind of like a, a mini tame roast she's going in on everybody like they're kind of joking about their names when it came to me it was kind of like oh Jem Mint well she mentioned me earlier in the video which I want to get to oh Jem Mint you know what I miss the fat Jem I miss fat <laughs> Jem Mint when he first started and he was hungry no pun intended no pun intended <laughs> on the videos and um and also oh you know I forgot to even mention he made a video about his top five comic book YouTubers, and he put me as number two. So right then number and there, two. I realized, oh, 
this dude is not a hater. This dude is really a fan or he was a fan who got inspired by myself and others. And again, we have same interests and now he's making content as well. So uh, it's not like this guy doesn't like me anyway. So then flash forward, his wife's talking about me. Um, and, you know, a lot of the criticism I agree with, man, like, uh, you know, Jim, he, he's changed. He, he lost weight and then he moved into this big house and it's just just not the same. Well, fun fact, I've definitely put on a lot of weight, so maybe I'm getting back to the lovable Jem Min. But uh, <laughs> what really uh, surprised me was she knew the lore. She knew all the lore about myself and about, about all these other channels. Like, his wife uh, was or is a fan as well. So I thought that was really cool. I thought it was funny. I, I guess for some years, dude. creators mm -hmm. got it worse than others. Like, my thing wasn't really bad. It was kind of like, hey, you lost weight and bought a big house. Like, that's not really bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how but, dare us. Um, I guess, you know, some people didn't like it and uh, the video got taken down. I'm assuming that people possibly reported it. I mean, why else? It wasn't like copyright infringement or anything. It was copyright uh, infringement. For yeah. the record, I did not report this video. <laughs> like I said, when I saw him do the top five YouTubers, I realized, oh, this guy is like a comedy channel, a satire channel. Um, and, and I get it now. You know, at first I didn't get it, but now I get it. it. I get the he sticky pops. goose lore. Yeah. And... Um, <laughs> You know, it's actually a badge of honor to be mentioned in these videos. Like, thank you. If you're not being mentioned in these videos, that's a problem. But uh, I'm sad to see the video got taken down. I thought his wife was hilarious. It reminded me of the How stuff funny. I did with my wife, with Fee. It reminds me of exactly. when Gary does stuff with his wife, who's Watch super cool as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, Mother Goose, what they call her, she knew the lore. That's what really got me. And um, she Sticky knew you were Goose a has a great collection. I'm not really a fan of the satire videos, but um, if that's your style, that's your style. Like, you know, I, I do more like product reviews. I review statues or I'll read thing, Omnis dude. or I'll review Omnis or I'll just do an overview when I get a haul. But that's what I do. He does, you know, these kind of satire things, clickbaity um, videos. And what's funny, and, you know, I've seen him mention it too, when he does try to do like comic book content, which is like the criticisms he'll get, they don't perform well. People yep. want the drama. People want YouTube drama. He gets that. And uh, I just want to say that um, I'm not upset with this guy. Subscribe, Jim. Um, <laughs> I don't think the video should have been, should have been taken down. Didn't, I guess he's going to not uh, subscribe. why it was. I'd be interested to see you know, what he's going to be doing going forward. If I know him, which I think I'm starting to get to know him, uh, how things will be going forward. He's like, we're going to go even harder or we're going to do more of the same or something like <laughs> Hell that. Yeah. So that's my uh, take on the whole sticky goose comic situation. Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. I mean, Jim Mint gets it. Um, I really appreciate him making that video and probably going to be one of his more successful videos in recent uh, memory. Um, what does that say? Exactly. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.